Hello, my name is Almudena Vicente Franqueira and in this video of the Digitally Competent Educational Organizations course organized by the INTEF, we will talk about collaboration and networking, two core elements for integrating learning in a digital environment. An educational organization is not a place for individualism. For our students, a school is a place for socialization per excellence. In the same way, a school should be a work environment governed by collaboration for all parties involved in it, and especially for the teachers. Given the complex challenges and tasks we have to face, the future of the educational organizations depends on teams designing innovative projects for and by our students through a highly developed teacher collaborative competence. This shared competence among all teachers can enhance quality levels of educational organizations in a comprehensive and sustainable way. An educational organization professional capital is influenced by whether it can create a learning professional community. According to Antonio Bolivar, a school becomes a learning professional community when it manages to be a community of leaders in which each and every one of its members feels empowered and committed to the processes of change and improvement of the educational organization. In order for this to happen, the following specific conditions must be met. A shared vision focused on learning internal and external communication channels that allow receiving and possessing information, provision of collaborative work opportunities by means of an organizational structure, adequate spaces and timing, be able to do a critical and creative interpretation of the curricular in order to integrate it and design high quality learning settings, be willing to critically reassess practices and educational materials, Provision of digital tools and devices that allow online collaborative working and learning. Have high expectations for the teaching staff and the educational organization. On this basis, digitally competent organizations can aim at creating a professional culture which promotes communication and collaboration both inside and outside the school, thus expanding the limits of conventional education. Digitally competent schools enable and promote expanding learning beyond the classroom walls and even beyond the school. In this respect, DICOM-OR defines three sub-elements related to collaboration and networking. Networking, sharing and collaboration is promoted. A strategic approach is taken to communication. Partnerships are developed. In other words, it is clearly stated that a digitally competent organization is able to open up to all the parties, to the environment and to networks. All of this will enable it to span learning and provide its professionals with opportunities of professional development and growth. With regards to networking, sharing and collaboration, the following descriptors are mentioned. Network collaboration for staff to pull expertise and share contents is the norm. Knowledge exchange efforts are recognized. Students engage in effective networking. Participation in knowledge exchange activities and events is promoted. Internal collaboration and knowledge exchange is expected. In conclusion, a digitally competent organization not only allows its students and staff to participate in the opportunities that the web provides with regards to contacting with other information hubs, but it also promotes it. This is a way to enhance learning opportunities. With respect to the strategic approach to communication, two descriptors are detailed. An explicit communication strategy is in place, and a dynamic online presence is evident. A digitally competent organization is expected to have a digital communication network which enables it to give a true and fair picture of the institution in line with its mission, vision and objectives. And last, there are two descriptors in relation with possible partnership that this school may develop. A commitment to knowledge exchange through partnerships is made evident. Staff and students are encouraged to be actively involved in partnerships. 
the organization's involvement in partnership should not be just on paper. Organizations should strive to achieve true communication between the work teams created as a result of the partnership established with other schools, institutions, and networks. In conclusion, a digitally competent educational organization recognizes that collaboration is the foundation of learning and that technology can reinforce collaborative cultural strategies within the school and between the school and other institutions and stakeholders. Digital competence helps us understand that knowledge is distributed online and in order to obtain it, possess it and use it in real life and learn, we have to connect with other hubs. Collaboration and networking are fundamental for the development of a digitally competent individual and organization. In both cases, in our interconnected world, collaboration and networking are nowadays the starting point in the development of a student key competence, of teacher professional competences, and of the school's knowledge bank and professional's capital, which the school relies on in order to provide its students with the best possible service.